Good morning, everyone. Привет, everyone. A little reflection on my way, starting the day. How you survive Russian winter? Layers and warm heart. Ciepłe serce. Gorące serce. That's it. This is my recipe how to survive Russian winter. Lots and lots of layers and a warm heart. Hello everyone, I just came out from the place that I really recommend you to see and visit when you are in Moscow the Romanov's Boyar's Chamber and in this place inside you can see the lifestyle of the 16th, 17th century Boyar's and then dated to Ivan uh, the Terrible, it's translation, Ivan Grozny we say and also the first Tsar of Romanovs and I am really fascinated and very interested in the history of the Romanovs family so that was a true experience and wonderful uh, museum to see great great service the sweetest people inside um, they communicate with you no problem and I will be posting those rooms after this video so you will see because i was not able really to talk and record i should not really record but i was trying to show you the the rooms how they look like in 16th and 17th century and i hope you enjoy it so let me go to my next destination now So I have to record it and I really have to ask you because this is my question to all those people who are from Russia and are watching this video because I have not seen so far any rainbow people. I think you know what I mean. I don't know if there is now six to nine genders on Facebook or if there is more. Maybe they multiply like mushrooms, who knows. But I, so far, no rainbow, nobody confused. Please let me know in the comments down below how is the rainbow situation in Russia besides the original rainbow in the sky. Okay, I'm passing by and I actually understand what I'm passing by. Ministerstvo Finansiov Rosyjskoy Federacji. The Ministry of Finances of Russian Federation. Look at me. A few more days and I will be able to put a few sentences together, everyone. This is the view. Okay, you were asking me, guys, about food. So I will be going to different places. This is not today, but anyway, there is some food here. Another day. Okay. 
да спасай мир, да бой во имя Твоим. You know, I have to say something because actually someone commented uh, under, I think, my last video that uh, the entire country pays for that luxury mall in Russia and I should go outside of Moscow. You know, actually, I want to show people that this country is not sinking, on the contrary, against all this narrative that is in the West. So we have to show, have to be careful, we have to show some beauty and some luxury as well, right? Poverty is everywhere, but for the country that the collective West is presenting as, uh, like I just said, the economy is in tatters, Ursula has said, doesn't look to me like it is at all. And as far as Nutcracker performance, I actually will be going to St. Petersburg to Marinsky Theater because I treated myself with a ticket for my birthday in January. It will be my gift. So to get tickets for this show in Bolshoi, you will have to pay at least $1,000 at this point. Okay guys, coming to you from the light tunnel, right across from the place that I just visited, which is the Pushkin Cafe, very touristy. Um, I was recommended to go there, but I was also told this is not typical Russian food, it's like a European take on it. Anyway, this might hit some nerve, what I will say right now, but I have to tell you, that I can feel in some places, like particularly in this place today, um, there is resentment towards people who speak English. And I speak some Russian, which helps, but I cannot fully only communicate in Russian because I haven't practiced this for quite some time. And it gets sometimes uh, unpleasant. I have few situations like this already when people give you a certain look and they approach you differently or they there is this resentment okay i'm not saying everyone but there are some people like this and i know that the audience who's watching now some of you are russian and not all of you are like this i know it but my advice to you is if someone comes from another country from that far away and is trying his or her best to show the support for for russia to spend the money here. Not everyone who speaks English is an enemy of Russian Federation. I just want to say it. I'm a little bit like taken back by that because, you know, I will never return here pretty much. Actually, I said a few words before I left. Um, yeah, it was a little different treatment for me again. And it makes you stop desiring going certain places anymore, you know? This is not the way how to heal the societies and this is not the way how to handle any conflict because who would in these crazy times come here, spend money, explore this country and see it with my own eyes? I mean, I think if there would be more people like myself, we wouldn't have so many problems, right? Because they couldn't not brainwash us like they did. So it's a little rant from me right now, but I just want to say again, not everyone who speaks English is the enemy of Russia. So, 
let's just get over it and I approach everyone with open heart and do my best to communicate in Russian but there are people who don't even know a few words in Russian so how are they gonna be treated? what if they have really good intentions, right? you know, if you disagree that's alright but I just have to say it because you have to hear those things lots of love everyone I will end this video here clearly no problem with lighting there we go